That thing is massive. Yeah, their wingspan's about six feet tall. And you and I could fit in that nest standing up. The nest is usually about nine feet across and about six feet deep. Well, good morning, and you just missed, and I think we got it there right at the end. The bald eagle has landed. The bald eagle has landed. We are coming to you live from base camp at the bottom of a bald eagle's nest on the on the border of Wisconsin and Minnesota at sunrise. And boy, that was fantastic. And why do I sound like Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, suddenly? No, but the, the reason why I thought this week's leader bite would be sensational to have here is because often when we think of the bald eagle, we think of the majestic power of America as its national symbol has dawned in June 20th, you know, 1700. Uh, and there's bugs everywhere. And what's crazy about the bald eagle is it's such a fascinating story because when it gets towards a, a later part of its age, the, the last quarter of its age, the bald eagle has a choice. It can either continue to live on as it has um, or it can die. Uh, and so it makes a real conscious change to what am I going to do when my talons it's feeding its young when my talons um, don't work anymore and I can't go into the lakes and grab the fish. What happens when the feathers get so old and so wet that they stick to my fur? Uh, and therefore my flight is not as big as what it used to be. And what happens when my beak starts to curl over and I can no longer pick up the food to feed my young and bring back to this nest, which is massive by the way. Um, and so what the bald eagle chooses to do is it finds base camp on the top of a mountain and it smashes its beak against this rock until the beak physically breaks. I'm scared like I'm about to get lifted off here. And when it smashes its beak against and breaks, it's got a waiting period of about a hundred days where it sits in its nest and waits for the rebirth of its beak. And when it gets the beak back, it then plucks off all the dirty feathers, all the wet feathers, and then it goes down to its talons and it removes its talons as well and then it has to wait for them to grow back. And when you step back and you think about that as a leadership principle, whoa, talk about patience. Whoa, talk about having to have the hard conversations with yourself and potentially your team. Because what are you going to do? Are you going to just keep doing the same things that you've done and basically not be able to feed yourself or feed others? Or are you going to step back and say, look, we've got to really go back to the drawing board here and rethink some of the things that we've been doing for years and years and years. So this week, as you step back into your team, and you think about the, oh, there's feathers falling now and poop everywhere on the ground here. Um, as you step back in with your team, think about, we are now halfway through the year. Have we really stepped back and thought about the processes we've been doing since we built the strategic plan at the end of last year or at the beginning of this year? Is there anything we really need to go and crack open and wait again and be patient versus doing the same thing over and over and over again? And the same thing can happen in relationships as well. Are there relationships that you've been just not addressing, not addressing, not addressing, that you really need to crack open and restart the, the process of change. The best part about a bald eagle is after the 100 days up in its nest, once it begins again to, to, to have all of its uh, flight, uh, uh, sorry, flight things is very early. Uh, once it gets its, its, its talons back, once it gets its beak back, it's the rebirth flight that's one of the most famous things of the bald eagle. So I would love for you to talk about it with your teams this week and consider what's it going to take for us as a team, for me as an individual, to forgive others, to re reprocess some of the processes that we have in place and take our rebirth flight. We hope this is something that you can chew on. Would love to see a comment. Would love to see Eddie the Eagle come back out of his nest. But I think he's busy right now with his young. And we will see you next week on Leader Bite. Cheers. There you are, laddie. I see you. Just don't eat me. You are massive and beautiful. Thank you for giving us the story of rebirth. <laughs>